Okay guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to set up an access point from an old D-Link DIR615. Well, the same technique can actually be applied to any router. Okay, What I have on my network is I have a super hub which is normally on 192.168.0.1 and I've disconnected my PC from the superhub and connected the D-Link to the PC via one of the Ethernet ports. So the first thing I'll do is log in to my D-Link. As you can see I'm currently not connected to the Internet. That's quite deliberate. So we'll go 192.168.0.1 don't actually have a password for the admin so make sure that's blank. If you've uh, changed your username and password then obviously use the correct username and password for your account. Right. <coughs> now first thing I prefer to do when I'm setting it up as an access point is change the LAN address. I do it now before I turn off the DHCP because that way I can finish up by turning off the DHCP and then connect the superhub straight in. So we'll go change the address to one in the superhub's range. So we use 192.168.0.254. Leave the DHCP server on for the time being. Click Save Settings. Now we've changed the LAN IP, we'll click that to go into the new address and again we'll go up to admin and login. Now under advanced, we'll make sure the firewall is switched off. Make sure there's no MAC filtering. And now we go for advanced network and we'll untick enable UPnP. Uh, we doesn't really matter whether this is ticked or not because we won't actually be connecting anything to the WAN port at this time. But I'll untick it because it looks neat. So again, we'll save that. So next, we'll go back to the main screen back to the LAN setup and this will be the last thing we do at this point. We'll tick untick enable the DHCP server. This will turn off all the routing features of the uh, the D-Link DIR615 and basically turn it into a switch with a wireless access point. So now we'll save it. Now because the computer's already connected to one of the Ethernet ports on the, on the D-Link, we will then just connect the the super hub into the uh, one of the other four the other three Ethernet ports. Again, this must be the LAN ports, not the one port. Now from command window we need to clear with an IP config release and pick up a new address we'll do IP config renew. And there we go. We now have our address from the Superhub. 
Don't you just love Ali Jean? And now we can connect to the internet. We hope. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and that is all you need to do now. So once you're done, now I can just connect to the wireless. I can set up the wireless on the on the D-Link, and be wireless con devices connecting to the D-Link will automatically again get an IP address from the Superhub itself and be able to connect to the Super the D-Link. Say, connect to the Superhub through the D-Link and onwards to the internet. And that's it. That's all you really need to do. Yeah. <laughs>